Welcome to Yoga For You. With your host, Anna Del Rosal, Certified Yoga Teacher. Yoga is not a substitute for medical attention, examination, diagnosis, or treatment. Please check with your doctor before beginning any exercise regimen, especially if you recently had surgery, are pregnant, or postnatal. If at any moment something doesn't feel right, please stop. It's important to listen to your body. I will provide detailed instruction as you move in and out of poses to ensure your safety. If you have any questions, contact your local yoga teacher or studio. Thank you for tuning in. Have a blessed day. Welcome to Yoga For You with Anna. Today we're just going to do a really simple class, just moving in and out of poses so you can really maximize your stretch. It's called Get Moving. So with that said, let's start on our hands and knees, please. So hands right under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Inhale, just gently lift your chest. Exhale, sit back. So Chakra Vakasana. Inhale, come forward to fours. Exhale, sit back. Curl your tailbone under. So you're engaging the glutes here a little bit. And really stretching through the back. Inhaling. And exhaling, scooping your belly in. And just one more like this. Inhaling. And exhaling, belly in. So the next time you're in exhale, you're going to come into downward dog. So curl the toes under, exhale, lift your hips. So again, just moving in and out of your downward dog. Inhale, come forward to fours. And then exhale, lift your hips. Inhale, come forward. You can hover your knees if you want a little bit more. Exhale, lift. Good. Just one more. Inhale forward. And exhale. Lift your hips. Just hold your downward dog here. Let the shoulders move away from your ears. But spread your fingers wide. Push the floor away. And if this isn't comfortable, feel free to come back into child's pose and hold your child's pose. And really press down through your hands, your feet. Good. One more breath here. And then look forward. You can come back on, down onto your knees. Step your right foot forward. So keep your, your right foot in line with your hands. Inhale, lift your chest. You can release those back toes. Exhale, straighten the leg. Good. So inhale, come forward. Press into that right heel. Exhale, straighten the right leg, getting into the hamstring. And three more times, inhaling and exhaling. Now, if the floor is too far away, feel free to use blocks or books or something underneath your hands. And release. Good. Come forward. And exhale, release. Good. This time, come forward and hold. You can say, actually, let's lift our hands. So bring your hands to that right thigh. And really bring your weight forward into the right heel. So you can feel the stretch to that left thigh. And breathe. Shoulders soft. Lift your belly. Get two more breaths. Get one more breath here, please. And then coming into the hamstring stretch, both hands down. Straighten that right leg or your front foot. Wiggle the foot forward. Flex the foot and just sit, um, drop your chest towards the thigh. So you're not sitting your bottom back towards your heel. And the more you flex that front foot, the deeper the stretch to the back of the leg. So you can even get the calf and the Achilles here. Good. One more breath. Inhale, come forward to fours. And... I mean, not forward to forward. Step that right leg back. Oops, sorry about that. Your inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, round your back. 
to the left side. So step that left foot forward, please. And hands on the floor. You can come up onto your fingertips or blocks if you need them. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, sit back to pose. Or straighten that front leg, sorry. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back. Three more like this, inhaling. So just warming up the legs. Exhaling. Good, twice more, inhale. And exhaling. Good, last one, inhale. Exhale, go back. And then inhale, come forward and hold hands to thighs. Good, lift your heart. Draw the belly in. Good, one more breath. Good, and then straighten, release your hands down, straighten that front foot, and wiggle that front foot forward. I'm just gonna adjust the mic here. Just bending your elbows to draw your chest towards the thigh. So try to avoid bringing your bottom back to your heel. Good, one more breath. Good, then bend this front knee. Press into your uh, front foot, your left foot. Curl your back toes under, step forward. Fold over your legs just for a breath, inhale. Exhale completely. Good, inhale, roll up, come all the way up to stand. And release. Good. So shoulders down your back. Lift your heart. We're going to move in and out of um, forward fold and chair here. So inhale, take your arms out. Exhale, bow forward. Bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, come into chair. So this time definitely bend your knees. Exhale, pause. Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, fold forward, belly in. Inhale, chair. Exhale, pause, weight in your heels. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, fold over. And again, inhale, chair. Exhale, pause, tuck your tailbone. Inhale, come all the way up. One more and you're gonna hold the chair. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, and hold here. So arms up or hands to prayer, depending on your shoulders. Tuck the tailbone slightly and draw your belly in. Press down through your heels. Not only are you feeling the quads here, but you're feeling a little bit. Get one more breath. Inhale, straighten the legs, release your arms, and fold over. Feel free to bend the knees if you need to. Grab your toes with your thumb, forefinger, middle finger, and fold. And just breathe. So your breath is the most important part of this as of the yoga practice. It doesn't matter how deep you can get into the pose. But as long as you're breathing smoothly and consistently as you move, that's where your focus should be. Good. One more breath. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Good. Okay. Step. I'm going to step my left foot forward, right foot back for this first one. So we're going to move into warrior one and then to pyramid. So similar to what we did on our hands and knees or when you were down before. So arms by your side. Your back foot is turned out about five degrees. So your hips are square to the front. Inhale into warrior one. Bend the front knee. Exhale, pause. Inhale, straighten the front leg. And then exhale, fold over. Hands to the floor, hands to your back. Inhale, bend the front knee, really press into that front heel to lift, warrior one. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, fold over, long spine, chin towards chest. Two more, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, pause. Inhale, come all the way up. 
exhale bow. So one more moving through it, and then we'll hold the pose. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, pause. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, fold over the leg. Hands to the floor, chin towards chest. So let's hold this one, the pyramid pose first, and then we'll hold warrior one. So if you need blocks for your hands, feel free, or your water bottle. But equal weight through your feet, so really press into that back heel. One more breath here. Good. Bend the front knee, come up to warrior one and hold. Shoulder soft. Again, you can bring your hands to prayer if it's too much to have your arms. Lift that low belly. Two more breaths. Inhale, straighten the front leg and step forward. So close your eyes for a moment, pause, lengthen the tailbone down, lift your heart, soften your shoulders. Okay, and then we'll switch sides. So step now the other foot back, I'm stepping my left foot back for you, might be your right, arms by your side. Inhale into warrior one, bend the front knee, arms up. Exhale, pause. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, fold over the leg, hands down. And then inhale, bend that front knee, warrior one. Exhale, pause. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, hinge forward. And again, inhale, bend that front knee. Exhale, pause. Inhale, straighten the leg. I'm gonna bring my hands to my hips. Exhale, fold over. So that's another option. Inhale, bend your front knee, warrior one. Exhale, pause. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, fold over. Hands to hips or back if you like. Inhale, bend that front knee, warrior one. Pause. Inhale, straighten the leg. And exhale, fold over. So the front hip moves back in line. Soften your chin towards your chest. Get two more breaths. Good, and then bend the front knee, come back into warrior one. So really press into your right heel. So you feel the whole back leg engage. Arms up or hands to prayer. Good, two more breaths. Inhale, straighten the leg, and step your back foot forward. Pause for a moment, close your eyes. Find your breath. So slow it down, and find an easy rhythm. And then open your eyes. And standing, we're gonna do tree here. So stand on your right foot, take your left heel either to your ankle, foot to shin, or foot to thigh. I'm gonna go here today, hands to prayer. So make sure you're engaging the outer hips, lifting the low belly, shoulders soft. And again, a couple easy breaths. Two more breaths. Good. And then release, and we'll do the other side. So standing on your left leg now or your other foot, right heel in, foot to shin or foot to thigh if you like. Lift that low belly, hands to prayer. So keep your eyes on a spot that doesn't move so that may not necessarily be the TV screen. It may be a spot on the floor, on the wall. And again, keep engaging this outer hip. Make sure you haven't sunk into the hip but your shoulders are directly over your hips. Get one more breath. Good, and then slowly release, and let's come to the floor. 
So you're going to come all the way to down onto your backs. Okay, arms by your side. Oops, sorry. So arms by your side. You're going to inhale, lift your hips and lift your arms at the same time. So inhale, float your hips in the air, float your arms back behind you, and exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. Good, two more. So really press into your feet, sweep your hips into the air, and down. Keep your arms by your side. You can interlace your hands underneath you, but press down through your upper arms, so you get that opening through your chest and breathe. Lengthen your tailbone towards your knees. Get one more breath. Get and then slowly roll down. Hug your knees into your chest for a moment. We're going to do a twist and then be done. So arms up to the side, drop both knees to one side. You can look straight up, you can look to the other arm, your choice. So if there's a big space between your top knee and your bottom knee, you can take your hand and put your um, fist between there or blankets. That just allows that top leg to rest versus letting it just hang out and try to Relax there in the middle of the space. Get one more breath. And then inhale, come up through center and twist to the other side. So again, you can look straight up over to the opposite arm. Take two more breaths. And then inhale, come up through center. Hug your knees in. And then extend your legs straight out. Turn your palms to face up. Feet flop open. Shoulders slide down your back. Just taking a couple of deep breaths here. So as you exhale, allowing yourself to rest, to relax into the pose. So either, feel free to stay here longer if you like, or if you're ready to move, just move your fingers, your toes. And just being aware of how even a short amount of time, 20 minutes or so, can help shift your perspective and help shift how you're feeling in your body. Just hug your knees in. And then when you're ready, roll to one side. Taking a comfortable seat, close your eyes here, and hands to prayer at your heart center. Just taking a moment to think of one thing that you're grateful for today. And thank you for tuning in. Have a beautiful day. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste.